Hey guys, so for this special edition of Tasty Memories, a Mother's Day uh, special episode, I'm not going to show you how to make French toast or little tea sandwiches with tea for your delicate mothers. I'm going to show you how to make a nice hearty stew that takes hours to make but shows that you love her so much that you're willing to stay in the kitchen for hours and hours because they're just so hard working. <laughs> so you want to show them your love, alright? I'm going to show you how to make Nigerian beef stew. something different I'm actually holding the camera today because I kind of broke my tripod and my cameraman is working so deal with me now this recipe is very special to me because it's my mother's recipe from when she came over from Nigeria um, she lived there for about nine years before coming to New York and she makes it once a year this one's from my mama hi mama now the reason Shirley makes it once a year is because while it is delicious, it's not so good for you because the base of the stew is actually fried in peanut oil. I know, don't be scared off, just make it once in a while, it's really, really good. All you need are some tomatoes, um, onions, little red pepper, and dried chilies. All you have to do is the dried chilies. Um, you can use whatever you want, I'm using ancho. You just have to reconstitute them in some hot water. Just put them in a bowl, take off the stems, let them soak there for a while, and then we're gonna blend it up with everything. I'm gonna feed about four people, so you need about five to six medium tomatoes and four medium onions. And you just dice them up, and we're gonna put them in the blender. beef I recommend just to save a few bucks buy it whole and just cube it yourself I'm gonna use beef chuck here and we're gonna make sure that sucker is brown because I don't know about you but my mama likes her meat brown that's what she said slightly dry it with a paper towel I use a heavy bottom pot so like this Dutch oven here it's perfect just drizzle a little bit of your peanut oil and they're good to go. The meat is nice and brown like that. Just pull them all out into a bowl. Don't worry, they're gonna finish cooking later because this stew is gonna cook for a good three to four hours. I know, but it's worth the wait. If you don't want to use peanut oil, go ahead and substitute canola oil. The only reason I'm using it is because it gives it such a great depth of flavor and it fries really well. It's so good. <laughs> At this point, just leave the lid on because you want it to develop its flavors and its color. It's going to get a really deep red, deeper than it already is. And that should take about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to put back our beef chuck. So now it's been about 20 minutes and this is what it looks like so far and it smells really good. At this point, you wanna add your salt and pepper. Don't add too much, you can always add along the way. If you want it a little more spicier, you can add a fresh chili at the beginning or some cayenne pepper. Let it simmer for about three to four hours, or depending on the thickness of your cubes, just check when it's tender. If it falls apart in your mouth, it's done. Your only concern should be what you should do for the next couple of hours. I suggest playing with your dog, thinking about life, bothering a good friend. I'm trying to read, stop. What do you want? Pretending to be a model. Just 
to serve the stew over some parboiled rice and serve with fried plantains or duke on the side just like my mom used to have. If not, stay tuned for next week on a recipe on roasted cauliflowers. It's a perfect side for this dish.